I got a job. Monday to Wednesday, night shifts. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I can still focus on YouTube. I got a job. Wow, I can't believe it. Ooh, warehouse. Ooh, the job I've had before. Ooh, crazy, crazy, crazy. That's for all the Zoomers that are here. You can now leave if you don't want to hear me ramble. That's it. Honk. You've got the news. That's it. I got a job. I'm very happy. I can finally start making money now. I can move out. In the future. Woo. High five. If you guys still do that. Okay. And now that they're gone, we can start rambling a little bit. I just made this video. 20 minutes it was. And I was about to click stop recording. But I didn't. Because my camera did this crazy zoom in. And I thought, that's funny. We can end the video like that. We can have the end screen cards there. I can make this, I can, I can keep this joke running for like a minute. I did that instead of pressing stop recording. The music stopped. The camera froze. And then everything went blue. And I had a blue screen of fucking death. Now I have to record this again. I was so happy. I was showing legitimate emotions about how crazy this is. And how kind of blessed I feel. I'm not religious, but like Let's make a thumbnail. Yeah, we gotta line up my face. It'll say job. Exclamation mark. Exclamation point. Exclamation mark. Anyway. Uh, so let's do the jokes I was doing in the previous intro. Uh, shaky shaky, uh, iced coffee. Uh, why did I buy this? I'm so stupid. Every time I go shopping, I buy a little iced coffee because I think on the way home I can drink an iced coffee. As I walk home, that'll be something to do. Haha, but then I always forget that when I'm walking home, I'll be carrying two bags of heavy groceries so I won't have a chance to be drinking an iced coffee i don't know what i'm thinking so i always have to drink it when i come back home and here we are and also this tastes like shit and i will not be buying it again i don't know what this is it says it has milk but it's black coffee i'm very confused i got a job the job that i've had before i'll i'll <coughs> i'll try to do this really quickly I was in a pretty bad situation, right? It, it's getting more and more desperate. I've, for so long, applied for tons and tons of jobs. I never got any jobs. I never, sometimes I'll do a little phone interviews or physical interviews, but I always end up never getting the jobs. Most jobs I never hear from. It's very depressing, very sad. And in life, you need to make money to live, to get food, to pay for rent. And I really want to move out. I'm 27. I don't want to keep living with my parents. So times were getting kind of desperate, right? And my parents said, well, now it's the new year. You still haven't been able to find a job. Uh, maybe it's time to go to the government. Right, go to the town hall, go to the job center. Uh, they'll start paying you, and uh, 
to help you find a job. And probably find some random shit and say, here, do that. That's not something I wanted to do. That made me very anxious because that could be anything. Could be any job. And now I have to deal with the, the government and the, the go to the town hall and go and do all this stuff and deal with all that. And uh, can I just get a job? So I reached out to the recruitment agency. That's what I'll call it. It has a different name in Danish, but I there's no good translation. If I try to uh, look it up on translate, it's a substitute but it's not, it can be a substitute, but not necessarily. I usually call it a temp, temp work, temporary. Um, some places will reach out to a recruitment agency and be like, hey, we need people for the, the our warehouse for the next month or something. And then the recruitment agency will recruit some people, and, you know, or they will have some people ready. Like, yeah, we got some warehouse workers. Here you go. So I've been with this recruitment agency for a while. That's how I got the the Christmas, December, whatever. So I've worked in this warehouse before. had the night shifts. And they like me out there. So I've always hoped. I've, I, I literally said it uh, in December 2021 when I worked there. I said... This is the perfect job. It's it's too much when you work a full full time five days a week. If I could if I could work here two or three days a week, it would be it'd be perfect. And now I do. Um, like I said, times were getting desperate. So I reached out to the recruitment agency, a lady specifically, who I've been talking to before when I've had all the other shifts. She's the one that, like, talks to me. Uh, my contact person out there, if you will. I wrote to her in an email. Just a few days ago. Tuesday. Tuesday morning. I need a job. Do you have anything? Either the place that I've worked before. Or just anything. Let me know. And she said, I can update your profile and stuff. If you want to maybe do some cleaning or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you can uh, update my profile. Sure, I don't have any experience from previous jobs, but uh, I don't mind cleaning. Or uh, there were some other things too, but whatever. She also said, I still sometimes use some people out at that warehouse. And I said, oh, if you could get me any shifts out there, I would love it. Just reach out to me anytime you have shifts there. I'll take them. And she said, I can save you a shift tomorrow, which was Wednesday night. And I said, yes, please. And she said, since you like it out there and they like you, she knows because, you know, she's the one that hired me for out there. And they've told her that they really like me and they would want me more. She's like, I'm sure we can find you a spot out there or they can. We can. They can. She works sort of with them. The warehouse, this company uses this recruitment agency like always. They are like, it's like a partnership. So they kind of work together to find people to work there. That's also what the boss then explained to me. I had my shift and I was thinking I need to find the boss and I need to say, do you have anything? And in my mind, I really wanted to ask him if he has part-time. But I thought, maybe I'm not going to say that. Maybe I'll just ask and see if he has anything at all. 
the universe finally decided to have my back. It's been against me for so long. It finally decided, you know what? It's 2023. I've hated on you and pooped on you for a long time. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time I, I, I give you a little that, I, that I'm on your side. The boss comes to me and is really happy to see me. And, oh, it's been a long time. I'm so happy you're back. I, where have you been? Oh, shaking my hand, you know. And he tells me, we need part timers. We need people, temporary uh, substitutes. But it, I don't want to call it temporary because it's not temporary now. We need people, part timers, that we know come in every week, a few days a week, consistently, permanently. And I said, yes, I want that. He started explaining it to me and like trying to sell me on the idea and stuff. And I was like, Duh, stop. I'm interested. I want it. I was literally going to find you and ask you for this. Oh my God. I really, really want it. So he's like, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Those are like the busiest days. The, the it, it sort of goes like like this you know so this is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday maybe more like this but the first days of the week are slightly busier so they need people there <sighs> but that doesn't mean it'll be busier or tougher for me to do the job because there will just be more people at work so the workload is still the same there's these stations and when it's busy you're probably only gonna watch over maybe like two stations but if it's not that busy there's not gonna be as many people at work so you might watch over three or four stations and therefore your workload is gonna be the same does that make sense but that's why they need people like me to come in Permanently. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So starting this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will start working the night shift at a warehouse. Really simple work. Physically hard, but it's simple. And I'm so fucking happy. Because I know the place, it's, if I take my electric scooter, vroom, 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 I can get there in like 10, 15 minutes. That's it. It's nearby, it's nighttime, it pays good, the job is simple, and it's always the same. I might get different stations, but the job's the same. And it's part-time, it's three times a week. I don't know if I said that already, but... So that means four days of the week, I can still do what I've always done and focus on YouTube and make videos and have a good time and game with my friends. I can even do that on the days that I work. I'll just have less time. So now I get to live my life, be happy, but then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I go to work for like six to eight hours and then come back home and then keep doing what I'm doing and I'll make very good money in the process oh my god everything was looking so grim I was down here right I was about to be out of frame but then phew, now we're up here man oh my god or like you know and then up here would be if YouTube actually paid me enough to, to make a living. Which will probably never ever happen. But I have fun with it. So, so we're here. This is perfect. My god, this is the year. It's already... We're only like 13 days in now and... It's happening. 
Bugs. So the plan is keep working, obviously. Keep making pretty good money. Um, stay living with my parents for a while because I won't have that many expenses and I can just really save up and fill out the wallet, you know, fill out that bank account. I want to have a good amount of money before I move out. I don't want to move out instantly and have to rely on every single paycheck. You know, I'd much rather have and save up a bunch of money, then move out. And then I'm a lot more secure and safe financially. So that's the plan. So maybe in the later half of 2023, I'll start slowly looking for an apartment or something but I'm in no rush I'm just gonna do my thing now just gonna start working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday make money and then just otherwise do what I've always done and live my life and try to live my dream and things are great things are pretty great now if the universe is listening and it still wants to have pity on me and like do good things, could you throw like a, a waifu into my life? Just sort of like, you know, I go for a walk and then some person's like, hey, you're cute, wanna get married? And I'll be like, oh, well, yeah. And then that's the love of my life. And then everything will be settled that would be great all right can't ask for too much okay it's a good year but let's chill out i'm gonna end this video before i have another fucking blue screen that fucks up another video it, it keeps happening driver updates windows updates i feel like they make things worse now if they break your pc Instead of upgrading and updating, it, it, it downgrades. That's what it feels like sometimes. You know what I mean? Technology. Oh, da -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the video now. I appreciate you. I love you. And this might actually turn out to be a good year. Things are looking up for Dane. It's crazy. You'd have no idea how crazy it is for me to now think, wait, I actually have a job? I'll actually have an income and a pretty good one? And I'll be able to move out soon? Because I actually, I, I feel like I need to, to stop the music for this. I have like some different anxieties and social anxieties and I've had anxiety about the future of my life because it's been dark. It's been a dark tunnel. I've had no idea if the future of my life was good. If like I, I could have ended up with a horrible job that I hated that was full time that would leave me no time to do YouTube no time to hang out with my friends no time to do anything that was a shitty pay um, you know just everything was unclear uncertain and that scared me I don't like that but now I have a part time job that pays pretty good and I like the job I don't love it. It's not like, oh, uh, it's so fun to move packages around, but it's simple. And I don't mind doing it. And the people out there are really nice. Um, all the usuals, all the full-time workers out there, every time I show up, they're like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, handshakes and, and fist bumps and how you been, uh, you know. So everyone out there is nice. Um, so it's good. It's really good. It's rare to have such a positive that insane Dane video, but here we are. Who would have thought? <sighs> and things are suddenly clear. The future is more clear now and suddenly looks pretty good.
That's crazy. My, it's it's literally like a 180. That's what it feels like. It's like life was sort of. Well, it would be maybe the other way. Now we're like up there, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the video now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Whatever I do, I don't know. I'm a guy. I need to finish Burnout's Lane, and I'm gonna play a bunch of Overwatch, and I'm gonna um, do some payday stuff, and then uh, I'll play any game that you want me to. I already have some ideas for future games that I'll be playing. But if you, if there's anything you want to see in this channel, just let me know. I will do it. I will. Uh, you i live for you you are i don't know I, I, I'm, I'm i'm joking but also I, 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 I okay and and so i'll see you good night no blue screen please let me finish the video before blue screen please